Hi, welcome back to Recycle 40k. I've got right here the Tesseract Vault. It's a great model, one of the most expensive models in the Games Workshop range. Only problem is, it's built in the obelisk configuration. Which means that the outside shell is stuck together in all the wrong places, so I'm going to have to cut this into pieces in order to build a Tesseract out of it. So let's break into the box and see what we've got. Let's cut on the sides, cut on the other sides, which I don't lose my fingers. Uh, and slice it on there, and... Oh, that's already open. Fantastic. Let's see what we've got and see if this is actually recyclable and whether I can turn this into the model I want it to be. Oh, loads of bubble wrap. Let's pull that out of there. And what have we got? Okay, so... There are the sides of it, and yet, as he said in the description, they are stuck together um, as if I was going to be building the obelisk. Now, the obelisk is cool. I mean, it's an anti-air um, item, but I don't particularly want to have an anti-air weapon. I want the full-on power of the Catan god in a box. So, glued together. Oh, it looks awesome. Uh, I don't know what kind of glue they use. Hopefully they've used super glue. If they've used super glue, it would just crack straight open. If they've used proper model glue, we could be in trouble because it's going to have melted the plastic. I mean, it's painted base coat black, so that's good. We don't have to base coat it too much. Let's have a look at the other side. Yep. They did that on quite well. Uh, they've got the weird things at the top. That doesn't actually. They're missing those. Hopefully they're in the box. But uh, we shall give it a try. Okay, what else have we got in here? Now that's the important part. This is part of the inside mechanism. It glues the um, centre, which has the katan on it, to the outside um, shelf segments. Those shelf segments need to be broken into four, so they can have one on each corner, and we can have this bad boy sitting in the middle. I'm quite looking forward to this. Alright, let's see if this is salvageable. Right, so in the box we have got all the stuff we need to actually build the Tesseract vault. I've had a quick look through it while I was breaking there and uh, yeah, all the bits are there. So, that's good. We've got these bits that attach to the inside bit I showed you earlier, the little cross section. And they help hold the outside Tesseract shell together and attach it to the middle. So, this shouldn't be too difficult. They go in there, that goes in there just got to see if I can actually get the Tesseract shell to split and go back into the four. So, uh, be back with you in a moment. Hi, welcome back. That is the outside of the orb, not orb, obelisk. Let's see if we can't pop this open and get it to a state where we can actually build the Tesseract vault. Okay, that just split apart. Ah. Oh. Brilliant, that split apart fantastically easily. So we've got the two sides here. Put those aside for now. Oh, let's just hope the other side breaks just as quickly as that. That was fantastic. Okay, so yeah, this is properly glued together, this side. I have to be very, very careful because although it is splitting, if it splits in the wrong place, that will crack in half and then I'm going to cause a lot of damage. So let's see if this will just come apart carefully. See if I can pry it into two pieces. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Yeah, yeah, this ain't this ain't playing ball. Um, try it at the bottom there, maybe. See if I can get this to snap without actually snapping. Okay, let's rethink this. Right, finally got that part. It's broken into um, several smaller sections, I'm going to have to re-glue those, but hey, it makes it much easier to um, manipulate. Let's see if we can get some other side part. God, he's glued it together well. Oh, there we go. And, come on. Oh, 
Fair enough, that's just split straight down the middle. Don't think I've caused any damage there. Badly. That has broken at all. So, yeah. There's the um, orbs at the side that fire Tesla. So, yeah, we have now got the four bits you want to. I've got a Tesla gun front back on the front there. And there are the four quarters which we're going to use for the outside of the Tesla out of bolt. Right, okay, now that I've got the four quarters ready, let's see if we can't get this thing assembled. And because I don't want to talk all the way through me putting the whole thing together, let's do this in quick time. 